And with that five flex space, that's only through tomorrow for Jay's Pieces. So it's a really special night to maybe get something new, get something you're gonna covet. Maybe it's a great gift idea and you wanna put it away for a couple of weeks and give it to somebody as an awesome gift down the road. So we do have that available, but again, the price ends at midnight. We have done something kind of unusual on HSN.com because we know we're all kind of in the same boat. We're at home and, and you know, maybe you've taken care of a lot of things, but you're not done yet. Maybe you really haven't done that deep cleaning you're trying to get to. We got you covered. How about maybe changing your audio system at home? Well, we got you covered there too with some great electronics. Maybe you just want to relax and pamper yourself. We've got a spa day created for you. You can find it in our home checklist. Uh, we'll ship it all free, which is amazing on the list. And we've got a lot of extra flex pay on that list as well. So if you're hanging out at home, and basically we all are a whole lot, then this is a way to make it more productive or make it more enjoyable. And of course, ship right directly to your front door. Okay, so I wanna talk about my Hubei piece that I'm wearing. Of all the turquoise that Jay brings us, in about 15 minutes, this to me has one of the most interesting storage. In fact, you are looking at vintage turquoise. You can't get this turquoise anywhere anymore. It's the Hubei collection. We have it coming up. This has been one of the all-time most successful necklaces Jay has ever done. We've got a handful. We put it on sale, added the five flex, but you're looking at one of the oldest and truly one of the most treasured turquoise in the world. This indeed is vintage turquoise. And of course, Jay's been sharing lots of great stories, so I stopped counting. <laughs> uh, and he'll get to that story a little bit later because it's really fascinating. Wait, to hear how he found this. This is like a crazy, crazy story going back to the 1970s and 1980s, which is pretty neat. All right, so let me tell you a little bit about Jay King. He's truly one of my favorite guys in the whole wide world. He's funny and he's charming and he's interesting. And most importantly, he is so passionate about bringing us beautiful jewelry, exotic gemstones, things you just don't get and can't find anywhere else. And Jay has done it for years. So we've got a lot in store for you in this hour. We've got some special items. The cool thing is everything is on sale. So all of it, every piece you're gonna see, we have it on really dramatic savings tonight. Whether you're giving yourself a little something to make you smile, or maybe it's a gift down the road for someone special, I think you'll find it in this hour as well. So Jay, we're so happy you're hanging out with us for a couple hours hours and you're joining us from Vero Beach, Florida, correct? Yeah, I'm in I'm at uh, I'm in my my office. I was hoping to actually be able to do this uh, from my man cave where I work where I my kind of my studio. Well that's what I, I was hoping. Wi I don't have Wi-Fi down oh, there that would, that would make it work. And this we actually had to um, I had to have an IT guy come in and yeah, I had to get a whole new router and everything just to be able to do this. But you know I'm not a Skyper. Do you know that I've had this is my third show those are the only three times in my life I've ever skipped. <laughs> You know, your next accolade. I'm just being honest here, okay? Jay, your next accolade is going to be tech whiz. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when my IT guy came in? He goes, because I told him what was happening, because we did the test and it's not working, right? right? And he goes, Do you realize your router's from 2014? And so I said, <laughs> So? What's the big deal? He goes, Well, uh, number one, <laughs> it's from 2014, Jay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's slow. <laughs> no, I, I'm not what you call a technical person. Yes, yes. Tech whiz will yeah, not be your new name. I just gave up my flip phone a few years ago. <laughs> Well, there you go. Well, you know what? You do excel in making us and bringing us beautiful jewelry. So that's what counts, right? Okay. Hey, Jay, we're going to jump into a customer pick right now. This one's a great one, too. It is, uh, whatever, $26 off or so. Uh, plus, we have the matching earrings. We're looking at another opal tonight, but this is a really stunning blue opal. Yeah, you know, and here's the cool thing with this. And this is a great story, too. I mean, you know, like... Um, okay, so this is, just so you know, this is so the original blue opal that I found, um, and I'm, I'm talking over a 44-year career here. The first one I found was in Peru, which has some real interesting stories to it, uh, was a Peruvian blue opal. You can't even get that. I mean, it, that, that, you know, that, that material right now, if you, can, if you have it and it's really good material, is worth its weight in gold, literally. The second blue opal um, that we had was uh, a blue opal that actually came uh, from Oregon. It was on the Idaho-Oregon border. We did it, uh, it was a one-shot deal, we did that. I still have people calling me to see if I'm gonna ever do that again. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's gone. 
And then um, this was the uh, this was our, our, our third time that we found a blue opal. And um, when they brought it to me, um, they you know I I looked at it and um, it's it's so rare you just don't you just don't see it in blue like this. And I asked him, okay, well you know for, he brought the specimens and he, he wanted to see if I was interested. And I said, well yeah, it looks like blue opal. We had it tested; it was blue opal. And I said, so where was it mined? Because we'll we'll need to go check out the mine. And he said India. And I said, and this this is a friend of mine, and we would go way back, right? And, and I told him, no, no, I'm not saying where did it come through. I said, where is the mine? And he said, India. And I, I kept saying, oh man. And you know what? It, it's the the only the second uh, thing I've ever bought in my life actually mined in India. No kidding. Wow. Okay. And okay, you're seeing this mine right now, right? Okay, but look at this, Suzanne. And okay, so that's an open pit mine, right? Right. What is it that you're not seeing in that mine? Anybody. Exactly. It's abandoned. And that's, <laughs> that's what's so crazy about this. They were mining, I, I, I forget where there was, it was either nickel or it was tin. It was something like that. It wasn't lead, maybe zinc. Maybe they were mining zinc. I forget what they were mining. But it's, it's an open pit mine. And this is actually shots down in the mine. Now, and what happened is they abandoned it. Now in America, you would have to reclaim that. You just don't leave an open pit mine, right? right. You would have to go in and reclaim that somehow. If they, but they just left. And when they did, all the local villagers, they go down in that mine. And as you're walking along, the, the, and you're walking down into the pit, you'll see the opal veins. Not, not everywhere, but there'll be like an opal vein uh, and what they do is they take pieces of rebar, um, steel rebar, and they sharpen a point on it, and they go and they pry out that vein. And that's why you can see that. You're actually seeing right here, you're seeing pictures of the material as it comes out. And this is where we have a consolidator. We have a, the, one of the guys that, that's a local in that village. Okay, we supply him with money. The people come. And whenever they need money, it's like their ATM. <laughs> they go, they to, go to see them. They go mine the opal. They get it. Okay. It comes in like little gunny sacks, paper sacks, whatever. And you got everybody and their brother mining it. They bright. And then what he does is he grades it out. And, and you know, we for certain things like the really like dark, you see, like you've got all the different blues that come out of that mine. Those are all natural blues. But you see the really, really dark, dark material? Well, that's the premium, premium that we buy the premium price. And then, but you know, we have to do, when I do a beaded necklace, I have to put all the different colors in there. Otherwise I just couldn't do it. So okay. there's different grades that we pay them for. And then we pay, and then once we get up enough material, then they put it all together and then they ship it to us so that we can work it. But it, it's this kind of stuff that makes it exciting, makes it fun. And another thing with this opal, there is no treatment to this at all. I mean, this is just how it comes out of the ground. Wow. And that's why I always, that's what I love about being on air. It's kind of hard. I've tried to show uh, specimens uh, before. It's a little bit difficult on the Skype. But um, what's really, that's why I always try to bring when I'm on the air is I actually bring physical samples of in specimens of the material to show people this is where it really starts. Right. This is where it starts. But this is the stuff I love because you, what you're doing is you're supporting a community. So when you're buying this necklace, okay, think about all the people that have touched this and their lives have been changed. It's a way for them to earn money. It's in, it, you know, it's just, it's just kind of like it, every stone has an amazing story. Behind and behind. some of the stories are just phenomenal. Right. Well, and one thing I just wanted to add, too, because of the colors you chose for this one, Jay, is, oh, my gosh, if you love wearing blue jeans, you have your Diane Gilman and you love your indigos and your chambrays and all those whites and khakis and colors, this necklace is going to be your dream necklace. So if there was any necklace that was in the show tonight and you're thinking, oh, I do wear a lot of jeans, that one you're going to reach for constantly, a white blouse with a denim jacket or a little white tee with some denim, a denim skirt, that'll be out of the outrageous. And, and again, it's 
one of those necklaces that you look at it and go, okay, and it can you wear with red, you can wear it with a million different colors, but I just thought this screams jeans to me. So if you're a jean girl, this is probably your choice in the show. All right, so I'm gonna give you a peek at another item coming up and already you guys are jumping in on it. And again, it's because quite frankly, the savings is amazing on this. Now, when you really think about this, this is all sterling silver and it's one necklace. Oh, and my goodness, you should turn it over and it's a second necklace with these amazing cabochons, right? So it's like buying two necklaces or two bracelets, excuse me, for the price of one. Normally on the air, it was almost $200. Tonight, we are at $109.98. That is now the lowest price we've ever offered and you have two choices. They both reverse. So this is gonna be coming up and I also have three sizes. So if this is something you're interested in, I know our smallest size, which is six, it's six and something, six and a half or six and three quarter. Six and a half, that is limited across the board. So if you want the smallest size we have, that's the most limited. We're gonna have two more sizes coming up. And again, we've sold several hundred even before we got to the product itself. So we will get to that one. Just wanna give you a quick reminder and another reason to stick around with us. All right, let me tell you a little bit about our HSN card. How would you like to get $20 back? It's like going to the groceries. And when you get to the checkout, can you imagine if the cashier says, you know what? We're just gonna take 20 bucks off your grocery bill. And you're like, you'd be like, what? Okay. And then we'd have a line, you know, down to Milwaukee, people in line for that deal. Well, that's what we do when you use our HSN card for the first time. We give you $20 to say thanks for trying it. What's really neat is all the special things you get once you have it, but you gotta have it to figure it out. And if you'd like to get one, go check it out on hsn.com. By the way, Kari and Mark, Carly and Mark, uh, they say, we love Mind Finds by J. King and we love your energy, Suzanne Runyon on HSN. Thank you. And they have a little smiley face. Terry's here. Hi, Terry. She's watching. Sally's watching as well. Hi, Sally. I'm so glad you guys are joining me on Facebook. If you'd like to ask Jay a question, please do. Uh, I can translate it to Jay through our Facebook page. So if you'd like to join us live, we'd love to get a comment. Or if you have a lot of Jay's pieces and you want to rave about them, we also love that too. All right, Jay. So we're going to continue on. Now we're going to move on to yellow sapphire. And, you know, I kind of said this a little bit earlier. Jay, when we watch your shows, you can always expect the unexpected yellow sapphire. We certainly don't think sapphire as yellow, do we? No, you know, and here's the thing. This is, uh, this is another beautiful story. This actually comes from Tanzania. And um, it, uh, I, you know, just like anything, you know, what's really amazing. And um, I'm not saying it's become easier uh, finding new things because it's always a challenge. But because of, uh, this is a perfect example, because, you know, the miners, it's a really very, very small click, and they all specialize. And once you kind of get in an area and you meet a, a few of the, the miners that, that do, you know, what I what I need and what I love, um, then you're able to uh, expand because there's a whole network. And that's how I, I found this. And this is yellow sapphire. Do you know how rare this is to actually find a deposit of sapphire that is just one color. I mean, it's almost impossible. Usually when you find sapphire, you, you find it, there's always all kinds of different colors, greens and all, all, you know, like a rainbow of colors. When you find specific, like the pink sapphire, where you just find all the pinks, when you find red sapphire, you know, especially if it's um, if it, if it, if the color of ruby, and then you can call it ruby. Um, this is yellow material. I don't know if anybody else is doing this. I've never ever seen it before. I uh, this was a, a it's a brand new mine find that we did, and it comes from Tanzania. And as far as I know, it's the only yellow sapphire deposit in the world. It's the only one I've ever seen where it. All of the material. Now, I have seen yellow sapphire before, but I've never seen it where the whole deposit was one color like this. It's beautiful. It's almost like it's almost like a butterscotch amber color. Just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it does have kind of that little bit of a that butterscotchy flavor to it. And then there's really delightful kind of light shades that are sort of working back to it. Like when you go to ivories, it gets a little bit richer, like a little more of a honey color. And then it's got kind of that great yellow. I like the fact that you... Now, these are smaller beads, right? Because it's sapphire. But I love the fact that you went ahead and faceted these. So you, you give us a really nice little sparkle on the beads. So it, it has a presence to it. 
Yeah, actually, these are mammoth beads for sapphire. For sapphire, yeah. <laughs> because, because, because there's not, you know, the crystals aren't very big, right? I mean, you know, like to, to be able to even cut this size is very, very unusual yeah. to, to where you can do this. But this is all cab grade. I mean, I could have cut this all in cabochons. But feel the weight of this. Oh, yeah. You can I, feel it's I, weighty. She can pick that up and just through Skype, hand it to people. Yeah. And here, hold on to that for a second, you know? And a lot of people wouldn't be handing it back. They'd go, wow, that's yeah. cool. It is meaty. <laughs> I mean, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's very surprising. Isn't it? And look at, the, look at the luster on this and look at the color. Now, here's another thing about this, okay? And I'm, I'm not knocking anything, but most sapphires that you're seeing in the, in the commercial market, uh, the majority of them have been enhanced. They've either been heat treated or they've been radiated. There's been something done to them to, to enhance their color. I will tell you right now, and I can tell you this because we cut this from the rough, okay? I, I, I buy the rough material. We cut it right from the rough material. There is nothing done to this whatsoever. That is the natural. So that's mother nature at her finest, right? It really, for to tell you the truth, for sapphire, that is, it, not, not, not only is yellow where it's all yellow, uh, that, like I said, in 44 years of doing this, it's the only time I've ever seen an all yellow sapphire deposit in my entire entire life. Well, I've never I, seen that before. But Jay, I think it's really unusual. Most people see this and go, there's yellow sapphire? I mean, not just you, but I mean, most people go, didn't even know there was something. Yeah, I a mean, lot of people go, well, right. you the truth? okay, I have seen yellow sapphire, in fact, um, I went to a deposit in Montana one time, and it had all the colors of the rainbow, and it had yellow in it. But as far as just going to a, a, a mine that all they get is the yellow sapphire crystals, it's just unheard of. You just, you just don't see it. And that's got to be exciting for you, too. You know what I mean? It's like, after all these years, still to go do something and go, okay, I have never seen that before. Nature really continues to surprise you, doesn't she? Did I lose Jay? Is he there? You know, I got to tell you. Yeah, I, I've been there and done that. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, yes, go ahead. Okay, I've been there and done that on, a, on most things. And, you know, you have, you have to imagine since, I mean, literally since I started traveling in my early 20s, um, and I even traveled before. I took my very first trip on my own when I was 16 and went to Mexico. Um, my mother didn't know about it, but that's <laughs> another story. That, that would be another story. So, um, but you know, um, I've always I've always traveled my entire life. And then uh, once I established this as my career, I've even been places I never thought. But um, I will tell you that that this is so unique and so different. And this is what really makes what I do so energizing and it just keeps it fun. All right, so here we go, 60, basically $60 off. It's a huge savings. The appraised value was $450. Yeah, that's real sapphire. Five flex pays. This is the only airing at this price. First time, lowest price, 18 inches, and again, two and three quarters inch on the extender. We do have the matching earrings. Those are on sale. They're really a pretty little um, checkerboard faceted oval earring and bezel set in sterling silver, so a little button style earring. All right, we're gonna wrap up on that, Jay, and we're gonna keep on going. Hey, I do wanna mention, we have curated uh, a whole collection on hsn.com focused on our situation right now, you know, being at home. And after you folded every little t-shirt and organized every spice in the spice rack, there's still more to do. Uh, maybe you wanna spend a day and treat yourself to a spa experience or maybe get some new electronics. Or maybe it is you wanna get your finances together. And I love the fact we've listed Susie Orman uh, on there to help you out maybe dealing with, I think a lot of times, we don't deal with things like wills and all the kind of stuff we're supposed to because it's arduous and it takes too long. And Susie's brilliant at pulling that all together. So it might be that time since we have a little extra time at home to get that organized. And if you go into our home checklist, you're gonna see something from Susie that might help you out to use this time wisely while we're at home. All right, so we're gonna continue on because again, we got more pieces to talk about. Oh yeah, I gotta take my necklace off. Oh my gosh, I love this piece. And I think it's one of the most interesting stories that we're going to feature tonight because you are looking at vintage turquoise. 1970s, 1980s, and we're talking about the countdown of cool stories. This one is one of the ultimate coolest, Jay, of all the stories you share with us. Now, we have extra things to go back to this collection. This is important. This is the first time you're seeing this Hubei since December of 2019. It is a customer favorite at almost $200. So we have it on sale. It has never been a lower price than what we have tonight.
We have the ring at $79.98. We have the necklace on sale. I have another earring we'll talk about. We have a stud earring and we have the pendant. So I have several different choices. We have the elongated earring. We have these beautiful earrings. Here's the pendant by itself. Here's this amazing necklace. So Jay, of all your stories you share with us, this has to be one of my personal favorites of all time, just because it's so historic and the turquoise is so old. Well, you know, and here again, this is what you call vintage or antique turquoise, but this this material is highly, highly collectible, okay? Yeah. Um, in fact, um, there was a, there was a, a period uh, prior to 2018 where you didn't see this for almost 10 years from us. Um, it, when, we, when we acquired um, this uh, private collection, in 2000, actually two, uh, two, at the end of 2017, we didn't even ever think that we'd ever be showing it again. Um, I just wanna show you things, and this is kinda of cool, like my house, right, you go through. Can you see this? Oh, oh that's a pretty, go okay. that way, there you go. There okay, you go. do you see that? Yes. That's a Hubei nugget. Oh my I God. Got this, I got this in 1979. 79? 1979. That is a Hubei nugget. Do you know how much this is worth now? Oh, I can't, oh, I can't imagine. I can't imagine. You, you just don't see this. Wow. Okay, this is the kind of stuff, and I, I guess the reason I'm showing you that is um, I was just I was just looking behind me. At, I have specimens everywhere. I was looking behind, and I thought, you know what? I bet nobody's even seen anything like that. So um, um, this is the kind of stuff I that means a lot to me that I surround myself with, and this. You know, this turquoise, you know, turquoise is my number one passion besides my wife. And I have to say that because she's sleeping just uh, just a, a door over. Sorry, I said <laughs> so, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, so anyway, um, um, but, but I tell you, turquoise has always been my number one passion. I love it. It was my original stone that I started with. And when you have things like this, one of the things I, I think I that I can share is because because I literally you know put it together. We do work from the rough material. I, I just want everybody to know how rare this is. I mean, th this when this is gone, it's gone. We we got the private uh, collection directly from one of the original miners. Uh, it was all by accident. It's because I know one of the family members on, and I was in a partnership at one time in a turquoise buying group with this person. And he's the one that uh, turned me on to this. And he was one of the, uh, he was from the Chu family. He was one of the original um, people that brought this to America, introduced it, but it was American miners. It was American lapidaris that put this all together. There, it, it's really a, as much of an American story as it is of anything. It never would have happened. And in the 70s, I will tell you, in the 80s, and I have specimens and samples, I was saying, this is my friend, um, you can see the uh, younger Chinese man. He was, he was probably in his um, uh, probably late 20s then, early 30s, uh, Simon. And, and then the man standing next to him is, uh, was the person in uh, Arizona, the, his connection, who actually really helped him bring it to America and introduced him to the other, uh, we have other pictures. Okay, that's actually at the mine in Hubei, that, and that's Simon there. And then those two Americans right there are still in the stone and lapidary business. Wow. And they're, they're still active in it. And they were two of the original pioneers that went to the region and showed them how to mine and actually showed them how to work the material. So those were the Americans. And th these pictures are from the 70s. Wow. Well, you know what's interesting, Jay, is that is now completely closed and it's been closed for many, many years. And this it, latest it, discovery, you said you kind of found by pure accident, actually. Well, okay, and that man there, uh, Simon, he was being honored and because he's part of the Chu family, original uh, family. The, the, these are pictures of his, his personal pictures from the 70s. And um, uh, what happened is he was, uh, th this whole area, is, this mine's been shut since since the early 80s, the government came in and shut it down. You're not even allowed to go into the region. Um, not even not only as a Westerner, but even even Chinese aren't allowed to go in the air. That that is it modern day right now. That's what it looks like. That that's actually a modern day. That was taken in um, 2019. That photo. 
Uh, and Simon was able to take that for me and, um, and his uh, brother Kelly. Um, but that is the uh, area. This is uh, at the mine. There's a door that will, that actually that they can show you that's in one of these photos if they move on, they'll, 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 there'll be a photo of the wall. And behind that door, okay, that's, they've got the door open right there. If you go through that door, um, that's, it, it goes into the mine shafts and you can see that, but they don't allow anybody there. But Simon went there, he went there to, um, they wanted to honor him. They're, they're building a, a museum and they're gonna do a bronze statue of him. He's one of the one of the people that they're going to do a bronze st uh, statue of, and this is okay. That was taken in 2019, and you can see Kelly. Um, he's he's almost like my brother. He's in the red shirt there, and Simon. That's Simon today, standing next to him, and then uh, next to him is his brother Dennis, and then that's the nephew of his uncle, and that's how we discovered this. When Simon was there, um, the nephew said, you know. My uncle just showed me this, and I just wanted to show you to see if you were, if you might be interested, if you knew anything about how to set. And he took him into this room, and where his uncle had his private stash, and oh. that's what this is. This was mined in the late '70s, early '80s. It was Simon's uncle. This is the material that he kept for himself. Right. Okay. Yeah, isn't that, is that, I told you it was going to be probably the craziest story. And literally, they found it, they, they contacted Jay and said, you're not going to believe this. There's some Hubei, a lot of this Hubei, said not a ton, but a lot more than normal, sitting there. And Jay recreated, or actually took that and created this necklace. And Jay, what I love about the necklace is I just love the fact that it's a bold statement piece. I think adding those thick discs of the turquoise, the separators being a little more exaggerated, make this just a standout in your wardrobe and in your collection gals so if you're thinking about this one this is our final quantity in this and trust me if it's not been mined since the 70s and 80s the the odds of jay stumbling upon more hubei are, yeah. are really very very slim so let here's me, your chance i'm sorry right jay yeah let me just tell you something it, it, the chances are zero okay <laughs> you know i was giving you a little, a little half okay, a percentage of a true. chance just <laughs> just to actually be able to do that project to be able to find that material was a miracle right. I mean, literally a miracle never thought in my wildest dreams it would ever happen and what you're looking at now this material is the last of the last of the material. You'll see the necklaces we're doing, the designs we're doing, the caps we're doing. We're taking the last remaining material that we did. We did this as a, a 2018 December TS. That went through the majority of the material. So now what we're doing is we're just using the last of the last of, uh, this won't last through 2020. Okay, we're, we're gonna be offering a few designs, a few things like this. This is like, if, so if you want this in your collection, and you want it from me. Now, maybe somebody else knows something I don't know, but I, in this case, I think I've got better contacts than anyone. And I, I will tell you right now, um, this when this is gone, it's gone. And it was in, in a, for a period of about eight to 10 years where we, I never even thought I'd ever see it in my wildest dreams. I never ever thought I'd see Hubei Turquoise again. And I remember December when we launched it. Oh my gosh, we sold thousands and thousands of pieces in a single we, we day. We sold them. Yep, so we're then you and I launched it. We sold it out in three areas. Yeah, it was like by two in the morning. It was completely gone because everybody completely recognized. Yeah, yeah, they recognized the gone. value. And it's right. really exciting to have Hubei. And here's the thing. We're basically, what, $30 off tonight. By the way, we haven't talked about it, but I have a matching ring. We have two different earring choices. And again, if you like the matching pieces, understand they're just not going to be here after they sell out. Here is the matching pendant that goes back to the earrings. Here's the matching rings that work back to the disc necklace. So... We've got a lot of options at this point, uh, and everything is on sale. And it's not just kind of a, you know, a $5 off kind of deal. It's a really substantial savings. But this really is the highlight right here. And I know we don't have a lot of these left. And I know it's, it's so cool to have vintage turquoise because of its history and the story and then obviously of Jay's connections. I did want to add, because Sherry's with us, Miss Sherry said she loves Jay King and she loves watching the two of us together. She said she was laughing harder earlier in the show it's probably because we were attempting to dance uh, she said she's so funny Suzanne she said by the way I have over listen to this Jay 100 of your pieces and Ooh. that's Miss Sherry isn't that wild 
Wow, she could start her mind-finding retail department. She could. She could have her own store. <laughs> she's, All right, she's so here's what we do. I'm going to show you the matching pieces. Again, stay on the line for the necklace. I know we're busy, busy bees on that one because it's spectacular. Like, this is one of those once-in-a-lifetime finds, and you happen to tune in and go, yeah, I'm going to add that to my collection. And then we have five flex pays, too, and you can get it home for, what, $34 on any major credit well, card. All right, here's the matching yeah. pieces. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. And this is all premium material, too. That's what I'm saying. It's not the junk. It's not the stuff that, that people just had left over because, you know, it was just the, the low-grade material. It was the junk. What I want to emphasize, that this is not only collectible, but this is the kind of material I was selling in the 70s and 80s. This is the really high-grade material that you just didn't see anymore. Even after a while, after they closed the mine down, uh, you know, all you saw was a bunch of junk. They, you know, people just didn't, weren't interested in buying it. When we found this, it's not that we just found the Hubei, that we found... It's his uncle's private stash. This right. was the high-grade, high-grade material. Yeah, because he's only going to keep the good stuff. And that was from the 1980s and the 70s. Crazy, right? Okay, so let me show you some matching pieces. Um, they're available as well. And again, this would be what I would consider an exact match back to the necklace. So as, as close as nature can get, this is sterling silver. You've got a little shepherd's hook. And it is a four-beaded drop earring. So that's available and on sale, okay? My ring is available. We're going to show the prices and all this guys uh so that's the first earring we're gonna do the ring is also available and this pretty i love it it's a triple stone ring and it's all bezel set all in sterling silver very comfortable was almost 100 we're at 79.98 with of course five flex here are the beaded earrings there you go they're available 79.98 as well and then we've got two more pieces in the collection. And this is totally different than the, um, the, the, the disc piece, the, the big disc piece. They're really very, very different for Hubei. And the look is so um, interesting. I love it. It's almost like a, a sunshine. And you think about the oval, those are big cabochons. And then of course you have the pendant that has a big bail on the back. Uh, and again, those are both available, both on sale and a lot of sterling silver wrapped up in those. All right, so we've got more coming up and more surprises and more sale items, which is pretty exciting. But first, we're checking in with Ms. Leslie. She will be featuring a brand new Today Special in about 30. Hi, Suzanne. Well, hi, everybody at home. Welcome back into HSN. And here's the thing. Suzanne said it. We're kind of stuck at home these days. And the silver lining to that is that we do get to hang out with the people we love the most and the creatures we love the most. And we get to that honey-do list. Well, we've got the biggest, best, and brightest offer on our very popular Bell & Howell disc lights. These are do-it-yourself disc lights. They soak in all that beautiful sun. And these are brighter than ever because instead of the 10 colors, LEDs. We've never done this before. There are 12 of those super bright LEDs. You can stake them in the ground. You can lay them flat. You can light up your walkway. Hey, you could even hang these up with a brand new keyhole that you or customers suggested. We've got great colors and in fact two that are exclusive to just us at HSN. We're going to see you in just about mm, 25 minutes with this brand new offer for you to finally get there, get out there and beautify that home. It's instant curb appeal and you're not breaking the bank. Now, we know that now more than ever, it's so important to have those products you need for you and your family to make your life a little easier. We want you to visit hsn.com. We set up a home checklist with all of these wonderful essentials delivered right to your door, and we're delivering them all for free. They have six flex pay. They are everything from cleaning products to do-it-yourself products to beauty products. Maybe you want to do a little at-home spa. Make sure you check it all out. We're shipping it all for free. It's those essentials that will make your stay at home just a little better. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search Gemstone to see our Gemstone Enhancement Chart. 
April is Customer Appreciation Month at HSN. While the world is changing, one thing will never change. You're part of our family, and we want to say thank you. It's Customer Appreciation all April long on HSN and HSN.com. Well, of course, our hearts go out to everyone who's been impacted by COVID-19. And it's easy to feel helpless at a time like this. We all kind of understand that. But there is ways to help, and we love this too. Americans' kids need us. They need us. With schools and workplaces closing nationwide, vulnerable children are losing the school meals that they depend on, and low-income families are struggling with lost wages. Of course, seniors are at the greatest risk amid COVID-19. Local Meals on Wheels programs are on the front lines every day, focused on doing doing all they can to keep older Americans safe and nourished. At HSN, we're helping seniors and children get access to food by matching your and our team members' donations, up to $1 million in total contributions to Meals on Wheels and No Kid Hungry. And we're committed to making a minimum company contribution of $250,000 to each charity. Now, if you'd like to donate and be a part of this, you can find more information on hsn.com or use the item number on your screen and together we can and we will make a big difference so definitely check that out if you would we'd really appreciate it and uh hey come on let's do that matching dollars and really help two phenomenal organizations well i'm suzanne runyon thank you for watching you're watching hsn if you're hanging out tonight in channel surfing jay king is here he is our resident rock hound uh, he literally goes throughout the entire world finding us amazing gemstones and putting together beautiful jewelry pieces and now we're going to talk about something that is a whopping big basically $90 off. Oh my goodness, this is so good. So when you see this bracelet, I want you to see it's got a double personality. It's two-sided. So when you see the price, please, please appreciate that one side is going to be turquoise, then you flip it over, and on each of these you get a second side. So instead of having to buy two bracelets, he has built them so cleverly into one. Now what are your options? Let me go over those, and then Jay's going to walk us through the design itself. So you first off, you have your turquoise and your amber combination we're showing you the turquoise here you flip it it's amber we have three sizes in each choice we have six and a half seven and a quarter and eight inch yay for that so that's your first choice turquoise and amber your second choice and of course i'm wearing one of these on my wrist the other one here is going to be a combination of pink thulite which you're seeing right there and that's jade isn't that beautiful look at that green jade and that is obviously reversible and again i have it in three sizes if you need the six and a half it is by far the most limited if you're thinking about picking this up it is now the lowest price we've ever offered it's on sale with the five flex we're talking about 22 dollars you pay off in five months, but you get it right away. Our flex pay is easy, easy, easy. I do have matching pieces. If you're interested, I've got two different rings and two different earrings to go back to this collection. So Jay, this was quite a achievement to be able to create a bracelet like this. I, I know it was very difficult to design this, but obviously very successful. You know, this is as far as a link bracelet. <clears throat> we experimented this uh, for the last, you know, few years. Um, we kind of developed, um, we developed this this whole look. And um, what I love about it is it's two sided. Everyone's different that we've done. The, this was uh, custom made. Um, you know, what's amazing with this is this is the first time that we've ever done three sizes, and we did that uh, here again. Uh, because of viewer requests. And so many of our viewers uh, came back to us and they said, you know, um, my wrist is really, really uh, dainty. And would, you know, would you be able to, um, you know, to maybe make a smaller link bracelet? And then, so we took that in mind. And then a lot of people said, well, I really love the link bracelet. It was just a little bit tight on my wrist. So what we did is we kind of custom did this this uh, this bracelet on this run, um, and uh, we did it in a small, medium, and large. So if you have a wrist like my size or a little bit bigger, go with the the larger one. Uh, average size, you go to the medium, and then if you're one of those people that really is very very petite, has a really really thin wrist, then uh, this small size is perf perfect for you. I will tell you right now, th this is. This is so wear friendly. It's so user friendly. Um, you flip it on. Yeah. We developed this binding with the magnet. So you can see that magnet. You see how that found? Do you see how it perfectly married yeah. with that? 
And that's a custom finding. We, you can't buy those. We actually make those. And then to add to that, we did the two safety, not one safety class, but two safety class. See how easy those are to pop on? They pop off too. And I always say this, it's like my grandfather. He used to wear a belt and suspenders. <laughs> I never could figure that out, right? I used to think, well, either wear the suspenders or wear the belt, right? But why do you need a belt and suspenders, right? <laughs> and the thing is, is that's this is kind of the belt and suspender philosophy, right? right? right. You've got the magnets, which are secure enough, that's like the belt, but then you've got you've got the two safety class that's like the suspenders. <laughs> That's a good analogy. You know, maybe he had a, an a issue one time and he lost his pants and thought that'll never happen again. Well, you know, I, I don't know, but I got to tell you, I mean, it's it's anything you can do, it, it's going to stay on your wrist. But what I love about it, though, is also you're buying one look. Okay, so you're buying one bracelet, but you're getting two individual uh, independent looks. And both of these materials are rare. The Thulite, the Norwegian Thulite, extremely rare, comes from one location in the entire world that I know of. This is a brand, this, this jade in this, it's Nephrite jade, that's the first jade that I've ever had in my line in 44 years. Wow. We, this was a new mine find from Pakistan. It's now becoming world famous. Um, so you, you were some of the first, to, anybody who ever got in on this and bought this Nephrite Jade, you were some of the first people that ever had this in their collection. Now it's becoming very popular and they're, they're writing about it, all kinds of, all kinds of write-ups in GIA on this Nephrite Jade. And then the other one, we have that beautiful um, uh, clear blue turquoise, it's Chilean blue. And then you've got that beautiful Lithuanian Baltic amber, uh, butterscotch amber, which is the rarest color of all the amber material that you can get. Less than 5% of all amber in the world is that butterscotch color like that. Yeah, they're just two really great color combinations. Well, and again, and okay. I, I will tell you too, okay, like now, okay, this is the last of the last. This isn't something we'll ever bring back. So you're getting your last opportunity to get these. This is beyond crazy, the price, okay? <laughs> yeah. and, and, and I say that uh, honestly, to tell you the truth, I can, I'm the manufacturer on this. We build this from ground up. That This was all built from us from scratch. There is no way in heck that I could <laughs> manufacture this bracelet. I could not do it. If, if they came to me and the buyer came to me and she twisted my arm, okay, and said, your, your career, you'll never work in this town again. <laughs> you'll, <laughs> you'll, never, uh, we're, you'll never be able to buy from you again if you can't do this bracelet at that price. I would have to not work in this town again. You say, okay. that's it. Yeah, I would literally, honestly, you could not build it and make a profit at that price. That is just the, I mean, that is just crazy, crazy, crazy. Well, it, it, it's an amazing value. But it was funny too, when I was doing the math, I'm like, it's not, it's basically 90 plus dollars off. I was like, oh, oh wow. And trust yeah, me. not that much profit. No, and, and as our today's special, it was not $90 off. Let me tell you. No, this, no, it and, wasn't. No, no, absolutely not. And and again, wildly successful. This is just the handful we have left. And you it's guys. Handful, yeah, it, 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 that's exactly what it is, Suzanne. Right. I mean, literally, you and I sold this. Literally, we sold over 10,000. I think maybe even close to 20,000 of these. Yeah. I forget the exact number, but it was a huge number. And, you know, now, now you're getting the opportunity to get the last of the last. Now, this is something that we'll never make again. You'll never see this. Any, nobody else makes this. Nobody else. You'll never see this anywhere else. This is this is made by us, custom, just for the show. And I'm just telling you, as a manufacturer, it would be impossible for me to make it and sell it for that price. I, I couldn't do it. I would lose money. I would not make money. Well, Jay, and when you think about it, too, you've got to take the span of three different sizes. I mean, obviously, there's a whole lot more silver and even more stones when you go up to the bigger size. And then right. you double everything. I mean, that's just crazy. And it's such a fun piece. You change it with your mood. You change it with your outfit. It's literally like you are buying two beautiful sterling silver J King gemstone bracelets, and it's less than the price of one. I mean, way less than the price of one. Look at all the silver that he used and those great rectangles, and they're thick and it's heavy. Look at the bezel set that the stones have to be placed in. And then think about that. He's fastening, in this case, that beautiful jade. Let me flip it over, and there's that pink thu light, too. Same story. And really, Jay, I think the most complicated thing is the sandwich in between. This is truly... 
an, an engineering mini miracle when it comes to jewelry designing to be able to flushly put those two stones together and then surround it by only one bezel. You know, and, um, you know, I, I'm so glad that you said that because um, what the, the person who um, who's kind of like runs my business for me um, uh, that, that actually keeps everything on track and keeps everything going. One of her famous sayings is, you know, the milk doesn't just magically appear. Right. <laughs> right. And um, and just by you saying that, I'm, I'm glad that you recognize that. Do you realize the skill level that we have to have in our artisans to make what we make and to show you? These are truly gallery pieces, okay? Um, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is we pride ourselves on the quality of what we do. We make everything from scratch. This is all, this is literally a passion, but a lot of these artists, to tell you the truth, most of the artists that you're seeing here, the jewelry that you're seeing, a lot of them have worked with, for, with me for over 20 years, some people going on 30 years. I mean, it's very rare that you have somebody that our artists that can do this this kind of work have been with us for less than 10 years. Oh, wow. A lot of them started when they were kids and they've apprenticed and, they, and this is something that they just kind of grown up with and they, you know, and you get better and better and better. It's an art. But sure. there's not, you just don't just go do this and just wave, wave your magic wand and make it happen. These are true artisans. Okay, and guys, remember we do have the ring, we have two different rings available with this. We have two different earrings available to go back to it. The whole thing's on sale. So again, you can check out more details on .com. I know we're busy, that $90 off is substantial. I mean, we just have never done that before. I want everybody to see this because Nadia is wearing it and it's just gorgeous. Anytime we do multi-strand pieces, you guys, Love them, love them, love them. We're $60 off tonight on this one. First time ever at this lowest price. And here's the story. The first time we've aired at the price. Originally $160, we are at $99. This is yellow opal and pink quartz. Look how pretty that color combination is. Just reminds you of Easter, doesn't it? <laughs> we also, and you get the matching long earrings, and those are in sterling silver. Plus, of course, you get your sterling silver extender on the back. Again, incredible savings tonight. We're talking $60 off and you get the full set. It's not just like, oh, I get the necklace and then I gotta buy up the earrings. No, you get it all. By the way, really quick, Scotty, uh, she says, hey, Suzanne and Jay, love you both. Do you have to size up on the three stone vertical ring, which I believe is the one I'm wearing? No. As a matter of fact, Scotty, it fits perfectly on that ring. So go for your normal J size five through 12 if you're picking up that ring, Scotty. So good question, thank you. There's the ring. We have it in both versions. And no, Scotty, you do not have to size up on this one. You can see the shank's very comfortable. If it's a really thick shank or a big thick ring, Jay always says go up, but in this case, Scotty, you're fine with your normal size. Okay, we gotta keep rolling out. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh. Najee, you look so pretty in that necklace too. I think you need to buy that one. <laughs> Worst problem about working here is we shop a lot, okay? All right, we're doing our mookite. We're gonna end on the mookite. Here we go. So we'll get to this and hopefully one more piece. We actually have the golden dragon turquoise coming up, so you'll see that. But this is another this day only. Love to kind of explain what the story is. I got 12 minutes and Jay and I'll be done. But this is important because we got a couple things happening. Uh, this day only is just like a today's special. It's one day, one price until it sells out or we hit midnight and we launch a new today's special, thus a this day only. The only difference is we have a whole lot less of these than we normally bring in a today's special. So you literally have about what, 10, 15 minutes to jump in on a great savings. Uh, praised at over 165, we're at 99.98. We also have the matching earrings. So Mookite, first off, I love the name Mookite. I think it has moo in it is the reason why I like it. <laughs> That's not very scientific, is it? <laughs> Do you know, um, I, I love Mookite just so that I can say Mookite. Right, you know? Mookite. <laughs> <laughs> so where did you find this Mookite? Because it's very different. Okay, interesting story there too is um, this is a, a mining friend of mine called Paul. You've actually seen pictures of him. We've actually done uh, footage with uh, with him. You see, you know you've seen him. Um, he is okay. This is really interesting. Okay, so this this material is mined in the Kennedy Range in the Northwestern Territories in the middle of nowhere. Um, I mean even. I, I can't tell you how remote this location is. They they go out, they mine it, they actually go out for six weeks to two months at a time. They take in all their water, all their fuel, um, all their food, everything that goes, they go in on a road train. It takes about a week to get to the mine site. 
and they mine as long as all the fuel, they take all, you know, all the equipment, everything, they mine until they run out of fuel, water, and food. And then that's the end of the mining season. And they do that not every year, but usually every two or three years. And Paul actually owns this, there's only one Mookite deposit in the world that I'm aware of. And Paul has it, okay? He has, uh, there's two, Paul, and then there's another miner uh, that owns the other half of the mining offer, you know, that he has the, the claim where there's mookite on it too. So he gets a little bit of mookite, but Paul's the one that really gets the majority of the mookite. And so there, there's really, uh, he is the go-to guy, the, the source on this. This is such an interesting material. It has so much character. Um, like I said, we don't get it all the time. Um, he mines it every two or three years. And when he's mining, he always calls us, and he always just gives us pick, so that we can we always we we always get the the premium material that comes out. You know what I think is the color range is magnificent, and it's such a rich, deep color. Whether it's kind of the golden tones, or I love that burgundy color, and then it kind of moves into some browns. Is that just the nature of the vein that it's found in? That's the nature of it, and that's what makes it so, like, crazy. I mean, you know, it's just, and this is all, you know, you would think that this is uh, something that they, you know, enhanced or they treated in some way. Right. But this is this is natural. This is natural mukite. And in the rough, it's just absolutely beautiful. A lot of times when I get the rough material, and I, I don't even want to cut it up. That's how beautiful it is. Oh, wow. It is so gorgeous and so mesmerizing. You really, you know, you know that you're you're going to have to work it. You're going to have to work the material, but you're just so mesmerized with it that you you just really don't even want to cut it. Yeah, it's a, just a beautiful palette. Like in the one Nadia's wearing, there's gold tones and then some browns. And then we move into these really dusty purples and you go into a deep plummy color. And then it moves on out into those burgundies and a little bit lighter of a rose tone. It, it truly is a fascinating stone. And the one thing I think it's neat about collecting Jay's pieces is they really are conversation starters. Um, you know, if you wear a piece and once we're out and about and you're proudly wearing your Jay pieces, um, um, people will stop you and say, you know what? I'm sorry, but I've just got to know what is that. So try to remember the story on the Moo Kite, the Moo Kite. Uh, and I, I think that's part of the fun of wearing and owning Jay's work is because it is so unique and it's so different. And it's not like your regular old dumb, dumb mall jewelry, you know? Like I'm wearing the Hubei piece. And this is a piece I want to tell people about. I want them to say, hey, this is an antique piece of turquoise from the 70s and 80s. And boy, wouldn't that be an interesting conversation starter with someone? I I think that's true with the Mookite as well. All right, we're gonna wrap up on that. Please don't forget the five flex pays you're seeing on everything from Jay, it actually is only through tomorrow. And that means any major credit card or PayPal, you pay it off in five months, you get it right away. And we also have a very unique 90 day return window. So you can get it at home, wear it at home. If you're going out to the groceries, wear your Jay to the groceries, you might as well feel good, even though you have to go out and about uh, on those occasions. And, and then you still have three months to test these pieces out which is a pretty unusual thing for us to do, but we do it to make your life a little easier right now. Okay, Jay, so we're gonna wrap up everything on this one. It's called the Golden Dragon Turquoise. It's also on sale as everything has been. It doesn't surprise me this is another huge customer pick. So where in the world did you find Golden Dragon? Okay, this is, like I said, you know, the, my thing is turquoise. Okay, we're literally, um, as far as I know, we have, uh, besides, there's some. Besides, I, I will qualify that there are people like me. I've got I've got a turquoise collection that's phenomenal, but I just have specimens. And there are people that have turquoise museums and stuff. But as far as having volume on different kinds of turquoise and everything, I I would say that I don't know anybody that has more than us. I mean, I, I'm not saying I know everything or know everybody, but but turquoise is my passion. It's the my original stone that I started with. It's what I specialize in, uh, and we go all over the world. Um, and turquoise is not found all over the world, but we go every place. We, we're getting turquoises in places today that uh, 10 years ago, if you told me uh, there would be turquoise there, I, I wouldn't have believed you. I mean, we're, we're going, we go to the end of the world to find it. This is an exclusive for us. 
I, we buy all the Golden Dragon that comes out. They named it. If they have a name for it, then I use their name. And I, I think they call it Golden Dragon because, um, because of the golden matrix that's in with this. And this is just a crazy material. This is all natural. We haven't done anything to it as far as we've not changed the color in any way. We haven't enhanced the color in any way. Um, it is, this is, this is how it comes out of the ground. It's it just absolutely gorgeous, beautiful material. And it comes from high, high blue with the gold running through it to more like this, which it's kind of like a tealy blue or, a, or like a moderate blue and uh, more of a kind of like a, a teal, but you'll see some real high blues in it. But the one thing that is really consistent, it has that beautiful gold matrix, that gold veining running through it. Yeah, which is and interesting because it really warms the turquoise up. So you have that right. high blue, those little specks of high blue, and then the warmth of the gold color, it, it, very, it makes it very distinct looking. Well, you know, and, and here again, you're you're having something that nobody else can have. We have an exclusive on this material, and I will tell you, there's not there they'll you know there's not huge volumes of it. It's not like we'll ever be able to do any big run on this. Um, I don't know how long this will last. Uh, uh, another thing too, um, the exclusive. Um, as they mine it, we only take the select material. Right. So all the material that you're ever gonna see from me are, are select pieces, right? We, we don't take what they call the mine run, where we just buy everything that comes out of the ground. I, I learned a long time ago that that's not the way to go. And so what I do is I pay them a premium price to have exclusive, but, but they let us do what they call choice or pick. And then eventually, you know, uh, down the road when they're not getting any more material and everything, they're going to want to sell everything. And then that's when we have to say, well, you know, go for it. But, but, um, but I, I guarantee you right now, you, there, you won't see this material through anybody but us. It's so beautiful. So you're getting and something that really is collectible. But Jane, and you can be guaranteed you always get the best quality. True. And that's so important. I'm so glad you explained that as well. Um, but what region of the uh, world did you get this? Okay, this comes out of, um, so it's north, um, northwestern China, and it's way up. I mean, uh, actually, it's, um, it's literally less than 20 miles from the border of Mongolia. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it's in the middle of nowhere. And it's at about, you know, I, I don't know the elevation exactly, but I would, just from being a pilot and being able to kind of judge altitudes, uh, I would say that it's well over 10,000 feet. Well, and Jade, let me ask you this, because it's interesting because, you know, when you, you always tell the story when you first started in your business many, many years ago, how many uh, turquoise mines were there here in the U.S.? Okay, well, not e even just turquoise mines, but in, in the 1970s, when I first started in business, I had, I bought from 27 different turquoise mines okay. in America. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of those 27 mines that I purchased from at that time, right, there's one still open. Did you find that the need for turquoise is now, um, have other countries decided to try to find it because ours is pretty much dried up and there is really a need out there for it and a want? What turquoise is, you know, you know it, it's really funny because when I grew up, uh, turquoise was kind of like an American stone mm -hmm. and people just thought of it when you saw turquoise, you thought of it usually the Southwest, right? right? right. Um, and then it moved into Europe. And you would see it in Europe, you'd see it 18 karat, 22 karat gold, mainly Sleeping Beauty or Persian turquoise, things like that, really, really super high end. You do see it, you know, back in the day, it was, uh, you know, you're talking in the 1800s, they used it in like uh, some of the finest, like Persian turquoise, and thing, but there wasn't a lot of it. One of the things that I've, I find very interesting is, and I literally travel the world, uh, the world, and I'm seeing turquoise for sale now in countries that I never, ever, uh, I, you know, that I never thought I'd ever see turquoise. And it's on all the high-end jewelry stores, mainly in gold, though. Huh. They don't really put it in silver. It's mainly put in gold, usually. And when it's in gold, it's, it's usually, it's not even 14 karat or 10 karat. It's usually 18 or 22 karat gold. Oh, wow. But they really, really, it's very priced. And I will tell you right now, the things that are really uh, clear blue and all that, you like a, a, an eight millimeter, 18 inch clear blue uh, turquoise strand of really premium turquoise. Um, a lot of times the strand would be eight to $10,000 oh. with the gold finding. Literally that's, that's not uncommon wow. that you do. 
Uh, but I'm seeing it in Arab countries. I never saw it in a lot of the Arab countries. I see it, I see it in South America now. So really, I mean, it's the worldwide it. demand, not just it, the U.S. demand, but the worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. that's great. And so that's why you're seeing these discoveries in China and places that normally you would never have found turquoise before. That's why you're finding them now. I think that's fascinating, actually. No, I, I think that they, people have always searched for it, um, but, um, but now, um, you know, in a lot of these mines, just like this, um, nobody else even knows about this. Right. A lot of the mines that I have in South America, people uh, would love to know where I'm getting it from. Shh, don't <laughs> tell. All right, Jay, I gotta let you go. Thank you so much for an awesome two hours. Stay safe over in Vero Beach, okay? And yeah. tell Sheila we said hi. I, I will, and I, I miss you guys so much, and hopefully that we can get back to normal here. I feel like Bubble Boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye, Jay. Thanks, sweetie. Well, coming up next, we're going to launch another Today's Special, and that's with Leslie. Thank you for joining me tonight. It is a new day here at HSN. My name is Leslie. I'm so grateful that you're spending a little bit of your evening or morning with us here at HSN. We hope to just lighten up the mood. I know it's dreary out there. It's tough out there. Spend a little bit of time with us. You know, the truth is we're stuck at home and there's never been a better time to love on our family members, love on all our creatures and the people we care about the most.